It's Caramel here, and today we just finalized the sale of our vending machine. So I will just quickly count this for you. And he had already previously put a $300 deposit on it, so this is the difference. So, 51. What's going on, YouTube? I know it's been a while. I, I have work, school, um, just life, taking care of a home, everything. So I've been kind of busy lately. Um, and I'm in my final semester, so if you made it this far, in the comments, if you could write, good luck in your last semester, hope you graduate, that'd be greatly appreciated. But it is currently 5.39 in the morning. And uh, today, I'm getting a haircut. My hair's a little, as you can see, it's a little, uh, it's a little off, right? So that's why I'm wearing my hat. So today I'm gonna show you guys uh, Basically, I'm selling another vending machine. Yeah. We had one at one of our locations and the snack machine wasn't doing the best, but our soda machine was the machine that was basically generating a lot of the revenue at this specific location. So we thought it'd be best if we just cut our ties with the machine and today uh, I will be selling it. So I'm getting my hair cut. It's 5.39. Um, and I'm meeting with the potential buyer around 11 it's either 10 30 or 11 30 i'll have to call and follow up or just check my text messages but uh, i'm gonna guys i'm gonna kind of take you guys through that process and and show you guys what it's like to sell one of my uh a machine thanks all right so here's my little rant why i feel like you shouldn't only have one income in 2023 i feel like because we're getting more into a digital era it's super important to have a second form of income no matter what it is right you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. A lot of times when you work the nine to five, um, there was there was loyalty between the employee and the employer, right? These days, you never know what can happen. So that's why I stress the importance of trying to find some type of secondary income, right? Because hypothetically, if you lose your job tomorrow, at least you have a little bit more money that's coming in, right? To be able to hold you for whatever time period whether it's one two three bills uh, or no bills and it just covers a bit of a bill it's super important that you have some type of supplementary income to where you're not just focused and you're not just relying on one job so how do i feel now that i sold my vending machine i feel good you know that was our first vending machine we ever bought so i did have some type of sentimental value uh, for it but I know it was for the best, right? You always want to cut your losses. Not that it wasn't generating us money. It just wasn't generating us the type of money that it was at the beginning. So it would have been just best for us to sell it and potentially buy a new one and find a new location. Because again, the soda machine in that location is doing great. So no complaints on that end. Uh, just at the bank. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I know I have a lot of homework. I have some data visualization projects or data visualization presentations, some project management presentations. And then on top of that, I have some papers that I need to write. So again, I'm in my last semester. It's been pretty hectic, but you know, I do enjoy making these videos for you guys. Um, it's fun, it's relaxing, and yeah, I just enjoy it. So you know what, once I graduate in May, I do want to find a, another form of income, maybe just another hobby, something to do currently vending machines and I do have my uh, primary source of income as well but I don't know maybe I'll start posting more often I don't really know but again I do enjoy making these videos for you guys um, if there's any way I could help any one of you guys just let me know in the comments and I'm always willing to assist if, if I know the answer if I don't know the answer I'll 100% tell you but you know since I've started this which we started in May I think I've sold about four machines four or five machines and I would definitely be more involved and like to get more involved on the in the flipping of vending machines um, it's less work now do does it take like it's less work but you have to know what you're doing and you have to know what people want and I think I have a pretty good idea good idea of what people want since I've been in it for just a few months but I kind of know like hey um, by posting on on social sites what people usually ask me for. So again, just gonna deposit this money. Uh, again, we sold it for a good amount. I'm excited, made a profit, so no complaints on that end.
It's Caramel here, and today we just finalized the sale of our vending machine. I want to count the money, see how much we made. Um, I actually counted it before when he was there because you know you never want to take cash from a sale and then count it after they left because if you do that, there's the potential, right, for the money to not all be there. So I will just quickly count this for you. And he had already previously put a $300 deposit on it, so this is the difference. So. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 750. So altogether, we ended up selling the machine for uh, $1,050. So I'm happy, you know, the, the machine wasn't bringing us revenue like it used to. Um, our soda machine's doing really well. So it was just time we cut ties with it. Caramel out.